What's going on, everybody? This video today is not really going to be RuneScape related. There might be a little bit at the end, depending on what I decide to throw into this video, but not really sure. Really, the main point of this video is I just want to say thank you to all of you guys out there for helping me to hit 50,000 subscribers. I started doing this YouTube thing three and a half years ago, and I honestly never would have thought that I was gonna hit 50,000 subscribers. So this is all thanks to you guys, your support and everything that you have done for my channel. My channel would not be where it is without all of you out there. So this video, basically, I just kinda wanted to go back and look at some of the things that I've done throughout the years. And I know not everybody can appreciate a video like this. Most people just wanna see the RuneScape content coming out, but I do like to mix it up every now and then and do some real life stuff. Um, but the first thing I wanna say is uh, all the people that actually joined my Twitch stream for uh, 50,000 subscribers, thank you to you guys. You made it really fun. The Chambers of Zarek and Corporal Beast Masses were really awesome. It was great to sit around and kill some bosses and talk with you guys. And I also want to say uh, congratulations to Weak, Sir Touch Me 8, Two Steps From Hell, and Imper, by the way. They were all the recipients of Twitch rolls for t-shirts from my Teespring shop uh, for the 50,000 subscriber stream. And also Poison Ives and Mr. Bad Wrench also won a $25 RuneScape card. So congratulations to you guys. All of the prizes have been divvied out and the t-shirts are on the way to those winners so I guess really the main purpose of me making this video is I kind of just want to look back and see where my channel has come. So the, those of you that have followed me and you've asked me this question before, I've gotten it a lot. Why did you start making YouTube videos? Well, about three and a half years ago, since when I started, I would be looking for RuneScape guides and sometimes I would find guides where I thought that they were missing information or the information was incomplete or wrong or the biggest one was I would watch a guide by a YouTuber that was already big that would do a boss in absolute best in slot gear and be like, you need this, this, and this. And then it makes me as well as the other people out there think, you know, wow, I guess I need 150 mil gear to do these bosses, but you really don't. Of course, there's a cat coming down here while I'm recording, but you really don't need that gear. So I set out to do things a lot easier and to give people some information on how they could do a boss with uh, budget gear or just gear that's mediocre. So I thought that was a big push that got me moving in the right direction. But it's not only that that has made my channel a lot better and progressing through guides and finding out exactly what you guys want to see. Uh, I also do all my own graphics. I do all of my own animations, all my own video graphics, my video editing. Everything is done completely by me because I like to stay in control and manage my channel. So I kind of want to take a look at some of the old intros that I used to use and see how that they've evolved, you know, throughout the time that I've been doing this because, you know, I, I actually ran across the folder that all of my old intros were in. So I kind of want to see uh, where they have come from. So the first one that I have here is just called first intro. That's all I named it. So let me see what, what does this look like? Oh, wow. I do remember this one. And I made this in 720p because I was a noob at video making and didn't really know what I was doing. It's all blurry and stuff. So let me see. Let's see if I learned anything in the second one. The second intro was waveform intro. And I think I remember this one. This one was. It was with the RuneScape theme. Yeah, I do remember this. Oh, that's cool. I remember this one. That one was fun to make. It took me a while to make this and learn how to do this in After Effects, but I actually got a lot of compliments on this one, on this intro. And then let's see, what was the next one? Oh God, the THX intro. Everybody hated this intro. And I mean, like almost everybody hated this intro because it's loud and it makes your eardrums bleed. And I'm so sorry. I thought it was really cool at the time, but now it is so cringy. Oh, I can't believe I made that one and thought it was like the best thing that I ever made. What's the next one? Ooh, the Transformers one. I do remember the Transformers one. And this one is probably still my favorite intro. But the problem was it was just so long. It was like 11 seconds long. So it was such a waste of time. But this one took me like 10 hours to make. I followed a tutorial to make it. It took so long, but still, I thought it was really cool. I liked it. 
And then the last one was the energy trails one before the current one I have. And this is where I really started, I think, to consolidate and make my intros a little bit shorter, more to the point, and not so fancy and flashy. Yeah, that one was cool. I do, I like the energy trails, but I have moved on to bigger and better things. And I do think, you know, I guess from a viewer standpoint, I guess my most recent intro is I guess the best one because it's only about five seconds long. It's very simple, quick, to the point, has my logo, and we're out. So I definitely think my intros have evolved and I guess a lot of that was due to feedback from you guys. Hey, your intros are too long or I don't like this because of that, you know, so constructive criticism has been great in developing my channel. So thank you guys for that too. Uh, I don't think even the intro quality would be where it's at without you guys telling me exactly what you want to see. So let's jump back, uh, I guess, three and a half years to see uh, my first YouTube video ever. And it was the Mass Monster Hunting Episode 1, the first one, 10,000 Abyssal Demons. So uh, let's check this out real quick and see. Oh, man, that text fade in. Oh, the other text fade in. And God, that music is loud. Good Lord. Okay, we're not sitting through this. Let's skip to uh, let's skip to the audio. What's up, guys? Asuka Yen here. <laughs> so, no way, dude. This is gonna be my first monster hunt. You can tell. Video. You can tell. I. I, I like you can shit. tell this is like my first video ever, and I'm I like, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just trying to talk my way through it and be like, okay, ever. this is what I'm doing. So uh -huh. Ten thousand abyssal wow. demons. And I banked all the loot. I didn't sell anything. Wait, I picked up every single. I camped ten thousand abyssal demons. Up, Why am I wearing a Slayer helmet? The Where's right the Nessie helm? Why am I not wearing a uh, Nessie? A, a Nate's knight is not chains, helm. Rune med helms, what? all that good stuff. Yeah, I definitely. So I that, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what I was that. doing. The end of the video, and then uh, looks like I threw some Scotizo kills into here as well. Got a bunch of dark totems from that. What about the loot? Where was the loot at? Ooh, 50.4 mil, 23 whips. Well, the 23 whips should have been worth that alone at this point in the game. So that's kind of cool to look back on three and a half years ago, see what the loot was like at Abyssal Demons. Wow, this video is definitely cringy. I am uh, I'm very glad that my videos don't look like this anymore. So I've learned a lot. You can even see the black bars on the side of the screen. I didn't even stretch it wide enough to make it you know full hd 1080p oh man it's come a long way that's kind of cool to look at though it's definitely cool to look back at that so if you're new to the channel and this is actually your first video that you're checking out by me well uh i guess welcome uh just looking back at some old stuff um, but if you're new to the channel down in the description below uh, depending on what you're looking for, you can check out all kinds of stuff. I have playlists for every dedicated thing that I've done. So if you want to watch some really cringy old videos, you can check out the Mass Monster Hunting series. I also have an easy OSRS boss series, which is pretty outdated. So if you're looking for bossing guides, check out the beginner's bossing guides because they were just made throughout the second half of 2019. And then if you're a lazy skiller like me, I also have a playlist for lazy player skilling guides. And if you like watching pure content, which I did an initiate pure and got 99, uh, 99 Slayer on it, you can check out the Slayer pure series. That was actually really fun for me. Uh, I missed that. And I've actually been considered doing another account with 99 Slayer, but an entirely different build. I was thinking maybe an obby mauler all the way to 99 Slayer. I don't know. I haven't really got that far in content planning yet. Um, but I also have the Collection Chronicles, which I'm working on now, OSRS Quick Tips. But yeah, in the description below, you can check out all of my different playlists uh, for all the different videos and really see how far my channel has come. And then also, um, if you actually ha pay attention to my channel in the community tab, um, I do want to put this in this video. I guess it's a good time to. Uh, so on the screen here, you can see uh, for the fa for the past four years, I've been incredibly fortunate enough to, enough to have a job where I was able to create and develop content while working my nine to five. As my viewers and subscribers, I would like to let everyone know that I've accepted a position of employment that may not allow me to do that anymore. This doesn't mean I'm going to stop the YouTube videos completely, but it most definitely will slow down as I settle into my new place of employment. I have had weekly and sometimes two times a week uploads for the past two and a half years that will most definitely cut back in the near future. So thank you for sticking with me. And I hope that I'll be able to continue with weekly uploads once I'm up and running at my new gig. So 926 likes on that almost a 1000. And the outpouring of support 
and a lot of you have been telling me it's okay. You know, you got to do you. And uh, honestly, I thought that I would get a lot of negative feedback from that, um, but uh, you guys have been incredibly supportive. So I am going to do my absolute best to keep putting out content uh, that you guys really like to enjoy. So uh, 50,000 subscribers, guys, I really can't believe it. Um, next milestone is 75,000. And after the turnout and the success of the 50,000 subscriber Twitch stream, I'm definitely going to be doing that again. We're going to do some more masses at 75K. We're going to do some more giveaways. Um, I had a lot of fun with that stream. And you guys out there, you guys made that incredibly, incredibly fun for me. So thank you, guys. I would not be where I am without you, without your support and without your views and your dedication to my channel. I mean, everything, pretty much everything I have computer related is because you guys have supported my channel and I am so thankful and so appreciative. Even this microphone, this whole setup has all become because of what you guys have, you know, supported me in doing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and if you made it to the end of the video, uh, thank you guys. Uh, I, I don't, I can't say thank you enough because this is all because of all of the support that you guys have given me throughout the years. So um, if you do like to watch my content and you want to see some live content, I'm always working on collection log stuff on stream now. Um, so you can check out my Twitch stream. Uh, the schedule is on the screen now. If you want to drop by, give it a follow, hang out. I try to talk with everybody in the chat as much as I can because you guys it, honestly, it really helps me get through the grinds of these collection log items while I'm chatting with you guys. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for watching all of my videos and thank you for subscribing. Um, with that, I, I really don't have much else to say. I, I thought it was cool to go back into the past a little bit and check out, you know, some of my old stuff. So thanks for hanging out and thanks for watching this video. And if this is the first one you're seeing and you like content like this, please tap the subscribe button on your way out. Um, I will be continuing with the OSR's quick tips. Those are uploaded every Wednesday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you like quick tips, that's going to be for you. And Collection Log Chronicles and the Real GP Zerker Edition new episodes are coming soon. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching this derpy little video that I put together just to look back on all my old stuff. Take it easy, everybody.